Hello, my name is Robert and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the grass that you're seeing right now. This is actually a very simple render and it's really fast to do. In this first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the mesh for the grass and also the particle system. And in the second tutorial, I'll show you how to do the material. And also, by the way, if you're also interested in doing a corridor animation in Blender, make sure to watch this tutorial, it's pretty fun. So let's jump into Blender and let's delete our whole scene. And I want you to make a plane and this will be basically our ground for our particle system. And I'm going to subdivide this around 10 times. And I want you to add just a little bit of fractal. Uh, just a, just a little bit, not too much. Uh, maybe 0 0.1 is okay. And along the normal, so it's set to 1. And let's repeat this a few more times. Let's add some more fractal, just a little bit more. So we have a little bit of a deformed plane. And now we're going to smooth this and I'm actually going to scale this down on the Z just a little bit. There we go. So that looks pretty nice. So now if we go into another layer and we select mesh plane, we're going to rotate this in the X 90 degrees. So now we're going to go into object uh, edit mode and we're going to scale this in the X and we're going to actually move this up. And I want you to select uh, these two vertices and I want to extrude. And if we press Alt M at center, we can join those vertices, which is a pretty cool hotkey to use. So let's make some loop cuts and let's start by going into right ortho and let's rotate this. Actually, we need to press O for proportional editing. So if we rotate this now in the X and we scroll up, we can edit this quite nicely. And we want to make sure we have the base of our grass right uh, where the origin is at, which is this um, yellow orangey dot over here. That's more or less where it should be. So now I'm going to go into object mode. I'm actually going to rename this. Uh, rename. And let's call this blade 00. Blade.001. So if, let's make sure we are in wireframe. And if we duplicate this object, we can make some more blades. So let's keep doing more and Let's move that back to the origin, right where it should be. And let's make just one more. We don't really need too many. And let's move it back to the origin. There we go. Actually, let's uh, using C. Let's try to move these vertices down and let's uh, turn off proportional editing. So it looks a little bit more different. There we go. So now before we keep going, we want to go into solid view and we want to set all these blades to smooth. And before we, we also actually want to make a base material, just like a placeholder for when we actually do the uh, good material. And we're just going to name this grass. And we're going to do it of a green color. There we go. That works fine. And let's do it with the three blades. Okay. So there we go. We have our three blades. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do different groups with those blades uh, with the render I did I actually I think I only used six you can use as many as you want you can do three you can do a hundred maybe that's a little too much but hey who knows 
So we're going to duplicate uh, these blades and I'll actually just do one group and the rest I'll, well, I'll show you how to do one group and the rest of the groups I'll do in time lapse so this video doesn't become too boring. And we, we all, you want to play with uh, rotation and scale a lot because that's what's going to give you uh, different results. So maybe let's add one of these. Let's rotate this scale. And let's uh, do one more. Why not? And as you can see, that looks pretty nice. Actually, let's move this right over there. So I'll show you how to do the rest in time lapse. So now that we have our different groups made, we're going to actually uh, with the C hotkey, we're going to select the different groups and we're going to press Control uh, J. And we're going to do this with every group, which is pretty easy and fast. And make sure we have yeah, you actually have one of the blades selected, which is why I'm selecting one uh, before I select with C, so you can actually join them together. And now you should have uh, six different objects. So now if we select all the objects, we're going to do Control G. And if we scroll up over here, uh, create this great new group option should have appeared. And we're going to name this uh, Grass Group. Okay, awesome. So now uh, we're going to go into our particle system. So you need to create the particle system. So we're going to press new. We're going, we're going to select hair. And over here in render, we want group. And we want to select grass group. So your grass should appear something, should be, it should be something like this. So we want to raise the number to 4,000, which is quite a, it's quite a lot. And we're actually going to select the advanced and in we want to go to rotation. And we're going to add a face of one. And we're going to add some random. And this will basically uh, make the rotation different, which is pretty cool. So we're going to also add some object velocity some random and I believe this makes it no actually okay we want to just add just a little bit 0 0.10 is enough so now we're going to go into physics and we're going to add some random size just a little bit around 0 0.2 0 0.3 and now we're going to go into the cool stuff so we're going to go into children and we're going to press interpolated. And as you can see, there's way too many uh, blades right now. So we're going to uh, set this to three. And for the render, we want at least 10. Okay. So you should probably leave everything just how it is right now. And if you want, you can add some more blades if you wish, or maybe even add uh, more groups of blades to the groups of grass. So that's all for this video. If you want to watch um, the video of the material, make sure to comment down below. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.